So I'm in the rear that I got here finally. Gonna have some Moroccan whiskey. It's not bad, huh? It comes in this little tray. It's like a little housewarming gift. In Croatia, we usually warm you with a shot of rakia or a beer. Here, Moroccan tea, mint tea. And look at this place. We'll get a tour of it later. Riyadh Rakesh, that's what this is called. So after that tea, he showed me around, gave me a little hint, taught me a couple words, like shakran, that means like thank you or something. And he gave me a little list of all the words here. So, labas, shakran, be care. Be care means I'm fine. Kali, khali, it's expensive. So I got a lot of homework to do on the words, but this is my rehead. A rehead now is a family owned property that they rented out. It used to be a palace for these people, but these guys turned it into a hotel. And each one has a bed, a window. Here's my front door I go. You open this, and there's big wood doors. And you got this bathroom, look at that. Wow, look at the lights up there. And let's go check out the bathroom. It's a bathroom. Look at it. Nice. No noodle shower head, but you got the green mat. You got the toilet. You got daddy. And this is the Riyadh. It's called Riyadh Rakesh. It's about 22 minutes away from Jema Elefna Square. And remember, people, when you rent a room or wherever you stay in Marrakesh, I don't know about the rest of Morocco, you got to pay a VAT, a, a tax. A property tax so it's about two euros and 50 cents each day so I had to pay 250 uh, dirham and so obviously dirhams are the equivalent to one euro would be 10 to 11 dirhams so I had to pay 250 which is 25 euros so it makes sense right and um, yeah I just exchanged money I did all that stuff do it at the airport you might lose out a little bit at the airport but it's safer you can get small bills and remember when you exchange money ask for small bills that's a morocco tip because everywhere is small and if they if you give them 200 if you give them 200 dirham these guys are going to be like oh i don't have change i don't have change and you're screwed with tipping them 50 dirham so that's five extra euros that's a lot you know especially when the thing doesn't cost anything near that so watch out for that always have small change and get it at the airport and also if you check out my previous video my travel days video you will see that i got a phone card as soon as i got to the airport so i can use google map quest and all that stuff and look for the fine dining la address the clock the clock restaurant where you can eat camel burgers and all this stuff right so you get that, those are the first two things before you go through customs, get a phone card, currency exchange, and then bam, get out. And with this hotel, they organize a, a shuttle from the airport for you. So it's not a hotel actually, I keep calling it a hotel, but it's a Riyadh. A Riyadh is something different than a hotel. Hotel is family, corporate. I mean, a hotel is corporate, a Riyadh is family. So it's it's like a real Moroccan feel. They introduce tea to you and all this stuff. It's nice, it's a nice little feel. So stay out of Riyadh. It's not a hotel, it's this. A room with a bathroom, a court, and I'll show you guys at the end of this video, a little demonstration of the rooftop patio they got here to chill and relax, it's kind of cool. So I'm going out to get some KFC. Let's go get KFC. <laughs> So there's my Riyadh right here. I'm leaving. Look at this place. Well, well, crazy, huh? You need to throw it. But I'm leaving. I'm going to check out the city. And this is it. They're just having prayer time right now. So I think the streets are a little quiet. But I'm going to go check out the city, get lost, and see all this fun stuff. Let's go. Yeah, I'm on my way to KFC, but all these cab drivers are fighting each other. It's hilarious. But. The thing they'll do here 
is like talk to you like they they have this like French they speak French so they have that they have that French accent merci beaucoup monsieur and they have like a French Arabic kind of mix and uh, they'll be like why aren't you talking to us you're being mean to us come talk to us what we're not good enough and they make you feel bad and then once you start talking then you have to give them money so there's a little tip for you don't get scammed so here's the KFC here I'm gonna I'm probably gonna grab a uh, I don't know a chicken sandwich or maybe some drumsticks but we're going in and it's right across this lovely park look at these guys huh? I don't know let's go ch oh shit let's go check out the menu <laughs> It looks fairly legit, like normal. Uh, the Mighty Zinger combo. I'll uh, have it spicy, yes. Pepsi. There you go. 79 dirham. Um, to, uh, for here. Yeah, 79 dirham for like a double, all right, a double chicken sandwich. I'm gonna wait up there. Yeah, for a double chicken sandwich, it costs 79. Uh, it's chaotic in there. That's actually crazy. <laughs> 79 dirham, so that's about about eight euros for for a double chicken sandwich. So it's pretty. It's not cheap. It's expensive, probably, but. I mean, it's okay, but uh, I'm gonna eat it, try it out, see what KFC's like over here in Camelland, right? Look at this place, jeez. So this is the Messy Burger, the Mighty Zinger. There's two little patties here, some fries. Let's try some KFC in Morocco, eh? The fries are really good. But this is what we came here for, eh? Chicken patty. Good fries. Very good. I love this. Expensive, but it's very good. Would I come back? Probably, because I love KFC. But it's a little expensive, a little pricey. They have a little different things here. They got shrimp on the menu, a shrimp sandwich, shrimp, uh, shrimp wraps, shrimp this, like that. Hey, that guy from uh, Forrest Gump. But look at this place, it's crazy, man. Absolutely insane. Wow. Wow. And I think it's, they do the same thing as Argentina. I don't know if the city here employs the people that uh, hold the door and stuff for you, but you gotta tip them probably. So I think that's why they're opening and closing the door for you. Argentina does that too. They do it uh, with windshield wipers, a whole bunch of different kind of jobs. They have uh, selling little snacks on the streets, a whole bunch of things, right? Yeah, Marrakesh seems freaking huge. Um, I'm standing in front of the Tubia Mosque. You can only be Muslim to go in there, so we can only admire it from the outside, us Jewish people, <laughs> us non-Muslims. But look at this. Arsenal, Gunners, it's their year. This is a sign, isn't it? Damn, let's go Gunners. But look at that cannon, eh? beautiful. It's beautiful to see a nice cannon in the middle. Woo! Yeah, but as for that chicken, I don't know if it was halal, maybe could have been, but it was damn good. It was dank. It was great. But look at this place. Wow. And there's, I don't know what that is, but there's a whole bunch of blocks of this. But you got all the Moroccan flags. I think we're going to look for a carafour because uh, that's where you can find beer. You can shop for beer there. This is a is Islamic country, so there's not so much beer or booze around. So you got to watch out. You can't be drunk in public, pissing everywhere. You know, all you English people. I'm joking, but yeah, we're here and it's hectic. I mean, if you haven't if you haven't witnessed something like this before, it's like a huge culture shock for you for sure. It's like crazy. It's hectic. Like this reminds you of like Salt Argentina or the Vichas or something like that in Argentina. And like look at this. Wow. I mean, look at that. Awesome.
see in the middle of this chaotic bustling hustling city you got this beautiful lush garden here with all these nicely cut orange trees you got palm trees you got all kinds of trees here it's it's actually pretty cool and you got a little kitty cat there's a cat look at the roses inside this city you got this beautiful little walkway after some nice kfc go walk it off in the park right that's exactly what i'm doing so you can get away from the hustle and bustle and the chaoticness and the the pressure of the city because this city could probably get to your nerves a little bit with all these people always following you asking you what to do but don't take it to heart they're just trying to make a buck you know try to get some food that's all i'm gonna walk through this little pathway that's draped in olive trees as you can see from europe i don't know where they're from in europe maybe greece maybe italy maybe spain maybe croatia well here they are this whole little pathway has huge olive trees and i'm going to get some beer for later tonight because i gotta have a moroccan beer and maybe I'll look for the bootleg gongo, who knows? But this is pretty pretty nice here. Nice little peaceful park here. I like it. See? There's more than just a busy city in this city. Marrakesh. Marrakesh. So far it's okay. It's okay. I'm not sick of it yet, but I can see how it gets annoying. Yeah, so I was inside this Carafower here. Carafower market, it's two floors. It doesn't look big on the outside, but it's pretty big. I got some, uh, I got a water here for four dirhams. I think that's around, what is that? A dollar, not even, 50 cents. And I got Casablanca beer. This came to a hundred, so that was 10, about 10 euros. That's more than Croatia by far. You can buy that for, in Croatia for four euros. So this was about 10 euros. I mean, they don't drink, so they're trying to push the whole don't drink thing. So they charge more, right? And here we go. We see these everywhere, all over the city. This big boy. There they go. And they're just cruising in a horse and carriage, the old school way. Nice. But now I'm going to go chill a little bit, have a beer, then maybe go try some mystery meat. Who knows, right? Let's do it. This is Bonjo. We're out here in Marrakesh, Morocco. Casablanca beer. It'll make your tits grow. Whew. Tastes very sweet. You can tell it's not a beer country. It kind of tastes like... I mean, it's okay. It's not the greatest beer, but... It's Casablanca. It's in a Muslim country, so what do you expect? They don't drink. So why do I expect them to know how to make beer properly? Ah, uh, it's not bad though. It's not bad. I'll tell you that. It's not bad. But as my end of my first day in Marrakesh, I'm super tired from all the traveling. But tomorrow I'm going to get a little bit busier and get out there right now. I'm pooped. I'm exhausted. What what's my first thoughts? What's my first reaction of this place? First off, it's like, whoa. It's kind of crazy. Like look at it. You know what I mean? All around you. It's kind of different how you're used to living maybe. And uh, it's a culture shock for sure. Chaotic's another word. Uh, dangerous, dangerous meaning like when you're walking down the street, if you're not watching, if you're walking in a little too far onto the middle of the sidewalk, you'll get hit by a bicycle, a donkey, you name it. A bunny might even come and hop on you. Who knows, right? So you gotta watch out for the cars, the traffic. And then the walk-in system across the streets, you just walk. And hopefully you put your hand out and if they stop they stop if they don't then i guess you gotta stop because a guy on a bike almost hit me after i told him to stop didn't work and he almost crushed me so you gotta watch out for that second thing is hustle 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 if you don't have your bargain shoes on you're gonna be paying top dollar and things like beer kfc i wouldn't say they're cheap i, I think it's more expensive than croatia and I heard that Morocco is cheaper than Croatia, which is weird. But so far it hasn't been like, whoa, that's so cheap. But I bet you when I go to the uh, Gemma F 
Efna Square, Gem L Efna Square. It's gonna be like crazy. So I'm gonna do a night market video. I'm gonna do a uh, barbershop video. I'm gonna do bargaining videos. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of things. I, I might go to Casablanca for a day. I don't know yet. There's still lots of my gen. I just got here and I'm just taking it in for the first day. That's how you should just walk around. Don't worry about vlogging really, even though I've vlogged a little bit, but um, yeah, that's it, man. This is Marrakesh and I'm here solo. This is Bon Joe. Click like, subscribe and share. And if you want to donate, donate at this is Bunjo Gmail to my PayPal. It'll help to for me to continue my travels like this. If you like my travels, donate. Support the channel, man. Uh, I'd like to take my family with me, but it's hard because she doesn't have her Croatian stuff right now. So she can't leave the country, so she has to wait till all her paperwork's done before she can leave. And if you look here, you can see the Atlas Mountains all the way down there. I don't think you can see them. But there's lots of wood on these houses, lots of unfinished business. It's kind of cool though, you know what I mean? This is Morocco. Oh yeah, here, I'll finish the Riyadh Rakesh Riyadh tour. This is the rooftop and this is the wall that guards the Marrakesh, the Medina, the old city. And this is the rooftop here. This is the chill area. This is where we chill. This is to stop the rain or actually to guide all the rain in that hole so they can use it later because it doesn't rain here much i imagine and this is another chill area they got their laundry hanging up because this is a family's house here it is huh this is the other side you can see the atlas mountains whoa and this is inside see it's like a square like a court with the court in the middle that's my room down there and you got the palm trees still growing. I see you got the tube flowing all the way down so it catches the water. And this is my rehab. You got the lounge area in there. You got the kitchen. You can order breakfast in the morning. You got everything. And it's right in the Medina. It's old. It's, it's a taste of Marrakesh. And it's nice. That Casablanca beer. Jeez. It's making me burp. <laughs> yeah. Look at this place, eh? I've never seen something like this. It gives me Middle Eastern vibes, hardcore Middle Eastern vibes. Like that looks like what I watch in uh, all the war movies, like Jarhead and all that. You see them all sniping off the rooftops and stuff. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> but anyways, there's the rest of the rooftop. I'm gonna finish. I mean, uh, there's the rest of the Riyadh tour. I'm gonna finish my beer over here. Take a little rest for the feet. And then probably go to the night market. Get a little glimpse of it, a little taste of it, a little feel. And so I can go haggle tomorrow. You know, but today I just want to take it easy and enjoy and take it all in. So that's it. This is Bonjo. Come to Morocco. It's incredible. <laughs>